What up guys, big update for CS. Panorama UI is now default, but I know there's a bunch of people who don't like the Panorama UI, so if you want to return to the old UI, you put in the launch options dash scale form. So for all of those Panorama UI haters, you can go back to the old school ways. If you don't know what the Panorama UI is, check the video I did on it right about here. I'll hopefully tell you everything you need to know. Not only is the Panorama UI the new default UI for Counter-Strike, but Valve have also released some new cases. Let's have a quick little look, see what skins are in it. Org Slipstream, Jubretta's Shred, Red, the Glock 18 Warhawk, I like that one, MP9 Capillary, P90 Traction, R8 Survivalist, TZ Eco, Auto Sniper High Seas, I like that one too, Nova Toy Soldier, that looks like something straight out of Toy Story. He's really excited about this. The Orp Paw, the MP7 Power Core, the M4A1S Nightmare, Dawnoff Devourer, the Famas Eye of Athena, AK47 Neon Rider, glad to see the Neon Rider go on to other skins, the Neon Rider Mac 10 has got to be one of my favourite Mac 10s for sure, the Desert Eagle Co Code Red, I like that one a lot. But it's not just a bunch of new skins, we also have a bunch of new knives. So we have the Urus, which is an interesting shape. We have the Stiletto, we got the Navaja, and we got the Talon, which looks quite a lot like a Karambit, I must say. You guys know that I had to buy a load of these, obviously on day one of release, and waste all of my money. So here we got 25 of them. Horizon case opening. I haven't really done a proper case opening yet on this new UI, so it's gonna be interesting. I like the Code Red. I like the Neon Rider. If I get a knife, then I am just going to literally just go jump in my pool. Oh, that was so close to the new orb. I got a little bit too hyped there. Give me that Desert Eagle Code Red. That's what I want to see. The Code Red, that will be my new dig. I will replace it in my main inventory slot. Okay, we're going to get an orb instead. You guys don't really need to see my face cam for this because it's all about the skins. So I'm only going to show the face cam if I like get a knife or something awesome like that. This case in terms of skins is actually pretty decent. A lot of the designs in it I do rate, which uh, is saying a lot more than some of the previous designs. Here's another orb. Three down, 22 to go, and a lot more money to be wasted. Come on, let's open some, some knives. Some new knives would be absolutely incredible. Oh, there's a pink, and I got the new orb. Okay, that's that's all right. I like that. I'm guessing the condition is maybe field tested, but yeah, it looks pretty decent. I think a lot of people are going to be repping this orb now. I'd happily take the Neon Rider as well. In fact, your new stat track, I'm sure that is worth a shed load of money right now just on release. But oh, I actually really like the Glock. I was hoping to get the Glock, but we've got the P90 Traction instead. And the Code Red is still lurking somewhere within the case, just waiting for us. I feel it. This time, 25 cases we got to go, and... That's not going to be a code red. That is a capillary. I wouldn't actually mind a Glock. I know it's like really, really rare and uh, not really rare, really unrare. It's super common. So, oh, there we go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. The Glock. So obviously I was going to get the Glock probability wise. I think it's a really cool Glock. I think maybe they should have made the Glock a little bit of a higher rating because that is one sick looking Glock. So let's get a knife. No, we're going to get an R8 survivalist instead, which isn't too bad. It's nice to have one of every every new skin, I guess. At this stage, any new skin I am happy with, to be honest, because it's nice to just... Oh, I saw the deagle. It went past there. I saw it. I saw the red shininess of the deagle. But instead, we're going to get the Julie Shred, which actually still don't look too bad. I think this case is probably the best case they've released in quite a long time in terms of community designs that they've included in it. And this is the one. I can feel it. This is definitely a knife. So... Oh, there's a pink and no no knife here i would absolutely love to get one of these new knives so come on show me the money show me the money ah <laughs> i had you all fooled didn't i just because i put the face cam in you thought i was gonna get a knife i have to keep myself entertained somehow guys come on i gotta i gotta troll you a little bit mid video <laughs> just because i know i'm actually not gonna get a knife whatsoever and there's another Julie's. I think I'm going to have to do a trade up afterwards. And with all the blues that I'm getting, obviously I'm going to get lots and lots of blues because that's just how the CS cases work. And the odds, obviously, of getting anything decent is very, very low. But we got the new auto sniper, which is pretty sweet. This looks like something out of, if anyone's played Realm Royale, this is very like Realm Royale design. Thank God I bought so many cases because there are so many more to go. So the chances, oh, I have another pink. The chances of getting a knife are still very, very much alive. But there is a P90 called the Traction. Definitely going to have to do a trade up with all of these blues. Show me some reds. Show me some pinks. 
show me enough. Oh, there's the pink. And we're definitely not going to get it. It's so teasy. Three is just too many. What am I going to do with all these P90 tractions? Just give me a new knife and then... Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. The Desert Eagle Code Red. Yes, boy. This is a very nice deagle. I like it a lot. Wonder what condition it's in. It doesn't look great. Oh, it's in battle scar. That is nice to have. I feel like already this opening is a success despite that um desert eagle being in battle scarred you know anything anytime i get something that isn't just like standard blues again and again and again i am a happy chappy so let's go maybe we still have the knife in us who knows but i feel like all of the luck has just been used on that one red desert eagle and another female attraction love a new new knife any of them even the little stiletto one which looks like it got ripped straight out of tf2 even that one i'm really interested to actually see the animations as well on all the knives um, i may include that at the end of the video if i can get someone to agree to actually uh, have me using that footage of the animation of all the knives i know i have some friends that can uh, edit the game files and, and replace the knives and do it all kind of locally so that we can actually see all of the animations i'm sure they're already up on youtube to be honest so it turns out I don't have any friends and I had to steal this from a channel called Cake Cheevables. The link will be in the description down below. Thank you so much, dude, for posting this up on YouTube. If you've got a problem with me using it, let me know. Don't sue me, please. But I noticed there wasn't a Doppler pattern, I believe, on the new knives. I think there was just kind of like the standard old school ones. I'm pretty sure the fade was there as well, which should be the most popular. There's another Hillary MP9. Let's have a quick look and see what kind of... Uh, okay, we can get the Burial Forest, we can get the Slaughter, we can get the Case Hardened. So there's going to be some blue gem, obviously the Vanilla, the Fade. Yeah, I don't really see any Doppler. A Gamma Doppler, I think, would be nice for all of the new series of knives. But I'm guessing maybe they might release that at a late stage. They kind of tend to save that stuff and then they half release it at a later date. Another all. It's not looking great for the knife, boys. It's not looking great for the new knife. So maybe, maybe these last two will... No, this is going to be another org, isn't it? Okay, final case. Come on. Gaben, I know you've given me a lot of luck in the past, okay? There was that one time you blew my mind with a souvenir factory new dragon lord. What the fuck? But I'm calling upon your powers once again. Please, for this, the last case. I spent a lot of money on all these cases, and it's happening. It's happening. This is it. Final case. It's knife time, boys. Let's go. No. <laughs> it's a tech knife. Well, we can dream, can't we? We've got some pretty nice skins. I like this auto sniper, Realm Royale. And of course, we've got the Desert Eagle Code Red. But this is in Battle Scarred. It actually looks pretty decent for the fact it's in Battle Scarred. And because I absolutely adore burning money on this game, I am going to trade up some of the new blues. Ready to trade up. I've never done these new trade ups, so this is interesting. Proceed, and then it just instantly gives you the item. The Power Core, that's not one we had before. And we're going to add one item not from the Horizon Collection, so we got to pray. It's a 1 in 10 chance that we actually get something from the Breakout Collection instead of the horizon collection and we get another high seas decent and this is what our inventory looks like after the trade-up so we got the orc port i like it i think there's gonna be a lot of those in the game we got the glock warhawk we got the glock warhawk as well definitely not warhawk i predict we're going to be seeing a lot of those in game as well and we also got the mama the big mama right here the desert eagle code red i hope you guys enjoyed this new case opening thank you so much to all of you who have stayed subscribed and continue supporting me because i am losing subs like a motherfucker going nowhere going nowhere seriously guys i really really appreciate it thank you so much for sticking around and uh, and watching my videos and i will see you all in the next one take it easy peace yeah, you